So uh, I get the honor to introduce a friend of mine, and uh, he's been a long best friend of mine, and uh, he's been a mentor of mine, and I've followed him forever. He's mentored me in business. He's a successful businessman from mortgage broker to a successful, successful health person. Uh, through the whole world, a successful health person. And when I first approached this guy three years ago, he just looked at me, stop. I don't want to hear it. It's a conflict. The answer is, shut up. <laughs> and, but we've traveled around the world together, and, uh, and we're known as now Salt and Pepper. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> so I want to introduce my good friend, Colin F. Watson. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> This is the boy in the house right here. Okay, why do I feel like I'm gonna throw up right now? Right. I won't, I promise I won't. First I wanna say, uh, what's up South Carolina? You guys, you guys are awesome. The hugginest people I think I've ever met. I love it, you go to California, you don't get hugs like that. So I just wanna thank you for all the love and all the hugs before I even said a word, so thank you. Um, see, every time I look at that before picture, it bothers me a lot. I didn't want to take that picture. And this guy came into my house and said, you got to take that picture. And he goes, no, take your shirt off right now. Let's go. Get the camera. But what was worse, he goes, now relax. Still, and, I, and I'm holding, you know, you know how we do. You hold it. No, no, you let it off. You got to really relax, man. Take the picture. In my mind, it wasn't going to look like that, right? It wasn't going to look that bad. Um, and the interesting thing is, you guys heard from Doc over here, where he's at, talking about inflammation and being swollen, right? He kind of showed you what I went through. So I want to tell you a little bit, you know, I came here, I, be, I, I watched that clock. Debbie and Jeff tried to introduce me to Isagenics about three years ago, and he said, he told you, and I said, no thank you. You know, I'm a fitness guy, I've helped thousands of people get in shape, I'm really good at staying in shape, I have a hard time, you know, Getting in shape, I have a hard time staying in shape. You know, at the time they, they approached me, you know, I just had my best year in my company. My little brand had just done over seven figures. I wasn't interested in making any money because I was making money. I wasn't interested in getting healthy because I was pretty healthy. So I just want you to know you don't know what you don't know because life can change in an instant. And since I have a short period of time, I'm gonna condense this story. So last year, was a tough year for my family and for me. My company and my brand was coming out of January with record sales, because you know how people are in the beginning of the year, dedicated, fired up. February was topping January. And on January 24th, and I remember the day and the time, 2.37 p.m., my store stopped. I thought it was a glitch in the website. I thought maybe something just went wrong. I tried doing a test order myself with my own credit card to make sure that, you know, because I had a customer calling me, and I called my merchant provider and I said, hey, my, my account's not working. And he said, yeah, we just shut it down. And I had to stop for a minute and I said, you shut it down. Now, I had a relationship with these people for three years. They had collected over $3.4 million in revenue through my company. I made a, I prided myself on being excellent in customer service, doing nothing wrong. But they decided, yeah, we, just don't, we no longer wanted to be in your niche. Sorry. But that didn't make it that bad. It had happened before. But this time, all the money that I had, you know, had sold through the Valentine's Day weekend, they held that money. But they also said, you know, that reserve account you have with us, that you've been entrusting with us to keep you know, 10% on your behalf, we're going to keep that money too. $187,000. I suddenly had to pay my vendors through my checking account, my, my, all my the supplies. I wasn't getting a new account anytime soon because they had put my name on a list. And I suddenly felt like some kind of a villain that I had done something wrong. And here I was, all I was doing was helping people get healthy. I got angry. I got depressed. I stopped for a second because I was frozen because I didn't know what to do. I was in fear. And so, to make a long story short, I realized that life had to go on, so I started, going, you know, started making the magic happen. Took checks, did whatever I had to do to make the magic happen. 
But then something else happened. Woke up one day, because you don't realize Doc talked about stress, how stress can just tear down your body. And all of a sudden I woke up one day with a stiff neck. It was a you know, stiff neck. And it kind of radiated down to the middle of my back. And it kind of went from a you know, two, a three, to a seven, to an eight. It was all day, all night, 24 seven. I couldn't sleep, I couldn't find a spot in my bed to turn it off. And the only thing I could do to turn it off was to, to sit on a heating pad. So now I'm on a heating pad all day with my laptop in my hand, in my lap, and my cell phone in my hand, talking to people, making the magic happen, trying to make sure I don't lose everything. And I started gaining weight. I mean, I ate, I ate 85% organic. I ate healthy. I ran. I lifted. I did yoga five times a week, hot yoga. I was an active guy. But active people suddenly were inactive. Your body starts to change. Now, obviously, something else was going wrong because I was swelling up. Now, you realize the difference between that before and after picture is a net seven pounds. I lost 14 and put, put, back, put back on eight pounds of muscle. That is not a 40 pound transformation, even though it looks like it is. So talk about swelling and inflammation, what happens to your body. So I had to make a decision to do something. Now see, when I, Jeff and Debbie talked to me three years ago and I was crushing it, right? Residual income, I'm good. That MLM thing, no, I'm good. What I do feels good. That MLM thing hasn't felt too good for me in the past. I'm not interested. Network marketing. That was my image, that was my perception. I also was a very big skeptic. I didn't believe that if you could put anything that wasn't real food into any kind of packaging anywhere in the US and have it be healthy for you. When they first showed me the package, I just glanced at the ingredients, I saw a lot of stuff. I assumed that it had to be chemicals or sugar or processed something, and I didn't look at it again. You don't know what you don't know. I've authored books, two books on nutrition and getting healthy. I'm a smart guy, and I thought I knew it all, and I was wrong. So I had to make that call. And actually, before I made that call, my wife sends me a text. Now, she works upstairs in my home. I work downstairs. It's a very smart arrangement. <laughs> and she said, text me, have you seen Jeff Beebe's uh, profile picture lately? And I'm like, no. Why? I think you should, watch, I think you should check it out. I want to know, why? Just check it out. Now I had kind of turned Jeff off. We're good friends, we're buddies, but he had so much stuff coming up, it was distracting to me, right? Because I'm trying to make the magic happen. So I turned Jeff back on and I got his before and after picture. You saw what it looked like. Now Jeff and I and Debbie and my wife and other friends, we, we vacationed a year earlier in Belize. We were there for a month, they came and stayed for 10 days and Jeff was not in the best of shape, I should say. Right? I love you, man. You know that, right? I'm speaking with you, right? But all of a sudden, the dude is chiseled 4% of body fat. I mean, it's like, what the hell? And I'm looking down at that, my belly. I am the fitness professional. <laughs> and so a very smart person I didn't really know very well. As I was bitching, excuse me, can I say that bitching? So I was bitching or complaining, I should say, about my, my circumstances. And what happens when you get in a rut and you're angry and you're mad and you're scared and you're depressed, you start, you start bringing that kind of energy around you. And I would turn Jeff off, why? Because Jeff was always smiling, he was happy, he was rocking, remember? Like, Rock it! Right? Rock it! And I'm in his hole. So I had to get out of this hole. So a friend of mine, acquaintance of mine said, Colin, wherever aspect of your life is not working, I'm gonna know it. It's not working, you need to find a mentor and ask him for help. The only person I knew that was my age that was in better shape than me was Jeff Beebe. I had to make that call. So I gotta speed this up, I'm gonna go double time. Made the call, called him over, he said, oh, you know he was grinning on the other end of that phone, right? <laughs> he was like, I'm gonna get you sooner or later, but I'm gonna get you, right? He said, I'll be over on Monday. This was on Saturday, I believe. On Sunday, because I was so skeptical, I didn't bring my little book with me, I printed out every ingredient sheet that was in the president's pack, and I took my iPhone on my couch with my heating pad, and I Googled every single ingredient with a red pen and a green pen in hand. And my goal, just like you heard earlier, 
Skeptics want to prove you wrong with your own shit, right? So I took out the red pen and the green, I'm Googling, I'm like, oh, a botanical, and wait a minute, and that's a fruit extractor, and this is amino acid, and that's protein. I'm like, I couldn't find one chemical, one artificial sweetener, my whole page, I wish I could show it to you, was 98.8% green, and I had two red marks. This product actually didn't have junk in it. So when he came over, I said, no, I'm exactly what you did, exactly what you ate. If it doesn't work for me, I'm gonna give you crap. He goes, bring it. <laughs> in eight days, my body weight went from, a, went from where it was at to a place that I could not get it myself for five years. It went in eight days. In those eight days, I came to, da I came to Dallas, right? Dallas, NYKO. And I realized on day three that I was sitting in those chairs like this for three days for what, I don't know, eight, 12 hours a day. I said, you know guys, I'm not taking ibuprofen. I'm not, I'm not in so much pain. I wonder why, I must be curious, coincidental, I guess. <laughs> in two weeks, my energy level was so off the charts that the people who follow me on social media go, what the hell are you on? I need to know what you're on. And I said I wouldn't tell them until I knew that it worked. I actually gave it, I gave it my own little name so they wouldn't know what it was. Uh, 28 days, the six pack was back. And, but this is the most important part for me, right? I told you real good getting in shape, hard time staying in shape. I took that picture a week ago. 16 weeks later, I keep getting leaner, I keep getting more muscular, stronger, this whole neck thing that made my arm weak and I can't really bend my wrist right, but still, I'm still lifting in the gym. I think I, I posted I hit, I hit 300 and something pounds on the bench press. I shouldn't be doing that, but I did it just to see if I could. So when you're a skeptic, it's okay. It's all right. But you don't know what you don't know. If you're wealthy or you're, you're making good money and life is good, you don't know what you don't know. Sometimes, you get side, you know, side swiped. That residual income from three years ago, if I'd have got smart and paid attention and jumped on board, may, would have, may, may have been a game changer for me. But you know, it's never too late. Just don't let it take you three years like it took me. God bless. Thank you, Colin. Thank you, Jeff. Now, I got to tell a little story about this new gentleman because Jeff called me too. He said, I, you got to go see my friend Colin on Facebook and check him out. You know, just check him out. So I did. Colin's been talking to people about nutrition for many years. So he's really good at it. And when I saw his video, he's driving this car and he's talking. And while he's talking, I can hear. And I'm like, what? So when I got him on the phone, I'm like, what kind of car are you driving, man? Oh, it's a Maserati. He, he lives in California. He drives the Maserati. He's like the Eagles song, right? But check him out online. Um, Colin F. Watson. Great videos. You know, there's a lot of folks in this room who are really great in social media. And I mean uh, inspiring. And I mean informative and friendly. You will meet a lot of friends in this business. I know I have. And it's been part of the journey that I've enjoyed the most. I consider each one of you a friend.